Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. So are you going to be a dental professional soon? So you are graduating soon or you have just graduated and you're excited but nervous to get started. So let me help you guys with a couple things. I know when I first started 16 years ago, I, I wondered so much. I had wondered what are dental offices thinking about the new girl? How should I behave? Should I be excited? Should I not be so excited? Is that too much energy? What should I wear? How early should I show up? Should I, what do I do? So there are so many things to think about. The main thing that I want to tell all of you guys is don't worry, everybody at that office knows you are new. They do not expect you to be perfect. Trust me, they do not. They are just so happy to have you. They have hired you for a reason because they need the help. As long as you show up, obviously, but I'm gonna say it, show up on time, be helpful, don't call in sick, um, did I say be helpful? That's the best thing. And if you don't know something, ask questions. There is a time and a place for questions though. So don't ask questions in the middle of a procedure. So if you're, depending on if you're a dental assistant or a dental hygienist, you don't want to ask questions in front of a patient because then the patient thinks, oh, does she or he not know what they're doing? Just because you're new, you don't want to advertise that. You know, you want to fake it it until you make it. Um, it could be your first day on the job, but you don't want to advertise that, right? Because it might make patients a little bit unsure because that's just the way the world works. If you have questions, write them down. I do suggest purchasing like a little notebook or something small. Don't come in with your whole like binders of papers and carry that around with you. Have a little notebook you could put in your pocket or easily just sort of carry with you to write down questions. Um, and then ask questions either at lunchtime, after the patient, beginning of the day, at the end of the day, however you want to do it. But please keep in mind, at the beginning of the day, things tend to be pretty busy because people are setting up, doing things, then might not be the best time to ask questions unless you need the answer to something because you don't know where something is or you don't know how to work something, then absolutely ask it when you have to. At the end of the day, it might be harder too because people are typically anxious to get home. But having that said, that might be the best time because there's no patience. So nobody's kind of in a rush. That might be a good time to ask questions. A little side note, in dental offices, you will soon start to realize who the helpful staff members are and who the not helpful staff members are. So some will be more than happy to help you. You can ask them a million questions. Some won't give you the time of day because they're just too busy. They have other things to do. I've always been that professional in the office where I am so happy to answer questions. Like I am there, but obviously that's what I do. I'm a tutor. I am a mentor. So I'm, I like questions. I do appreciate that. Even when my patients ask me questions, I love that because that shows me that they care. Um, a couple other things I find for new graduates, taking x-rays is one of the harder things. We do not expect perfection, but let me tell you, if you're having trouble taking x-rays, ask for help. Don't take the same really bad x-ray um, over and over again. Ask for help. Say, you know what? I cannot stop getting comb cut. Why am I getting overlapping? Can somebody please watch me do it um, and kind of tell me what I'm doing wrong? The worst thing to do is just throw up your hands and say, oh my God, my x-rays are horrible. Can you just do them for me? Don't do that. Have somebody watch you. That's very impressive for me. If somebody comes up to me and says, Andrea, do you mind watching me? When you have a moment, like the next time you have time, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I cannot figure this out. I can't stand it when somebody comes up to me and says, oh, I cannot take this x-ray. This is so annoying. Can you just do it for me? I don't have time to do it for you. I'm going to tell you to calm the heck down, you know, that kind of thing. Another thing is never show your anger 
or frustration in the dental office. You will learn very quickly, we have to have a happy smiley face on 110% of the time in front of our patients. Even if we're having the worst day ever, be happy and be smiley, because that's not the patient's fault. They're probably nervous coming in. They need to see happy smiley faces. So if you can do that, if you can talk to patients and carry on a conversation while you're waiting for the dentist, that means everything. Thing. We love that. If you're sitting there like this, waiting for the dentist or waiting for something, not talking to your patient, that's the worst thing ever. We're not going to like that. So be yourself, be happy, ask questions, and know that we all understand this is your first day, first week, first month. We do not expect you to be perfect. Let me know, you guys, if you have any questions. If you haven't seen the course yet, I do offer a course called Dental LRDH for new dental hygienists who have just graduated and they don't know where to start, what to learn in a dental office. Let me help you. I will leave the link down below for you. Of course, comment below with any questions. If you haven't yet, please click like on the video that does truly help my channel and make sure to click subscribe because I do offer free videos at least several times a week on all things dental. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video video.